science is part of culture, I think that's what I'm going to say. Um, and so I just don't feel like it's more important than literature, and I don't think it's more important than TV or film, but I think it's as important. And so, and it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, at the moment it's underappreciated in that sense. And I guess I feel like it's part of who we are, it's part of being human is science. It's not different from being human, it is what makes you human. You know, when, the, when our ancestors first were trudging around in the mud on a day like today, which is really horrible, I mean, today is when you realise science is important. If, if we didn't have science, we would all be miserable today. It's cold, it's wet, it's rainy. The fact that we've got heating, buildings, cars to drive around in, buses, that is science. That's it. You know? So part of, science, part of the importance of science is the fact that you know, we can't survive in most of the parts of the world without science. That's given us the ability to survive and, and actually to think higher things, to appreciate poetry, to appreciate literature, to fall in love, to actually live together for someone for 30, 40, 50 years. That's, science has let us do that. Before this, you had a life expectancy of 30 years, you know, it was, life was brutal and probably quite sublime in that sense. If you enjoy sitting on the sofa watching the telly, it's because that science has allowed that to happen. And so it's a bit like, Ignoring science and feeling science is kind of irrelevant to you is a bit like dissing your mum, you know? It's just like, it's, it's where you've come from. You've got, you don't, haven't got to appreciate it, but it is a bit like dissing your mum and it's a bit rude, isn't it, to diss your mum? You shouldn't do that. And people diss science in the same way and they really shouldn't do that. It's your mum. <laughs>